Welcome to the news. So, what's been happening? Here's a tip. If you want to undermine someone on the news, just loosen their chair. Služio prije svega da se napravi krvna i imovinska krvna slika kako hrvatskih građana, tako i hrvatskih poduzeća. Over on Look East, Stuart revealed he's not a fan of boob jobs. They do look great, but you know, when you look at them, you cannot resist the thought that eventually they're going to fall off. Is it me, or does someone need to teach this guy to blow his nose? Ah! And finally, over on Good Morning Britain, Ben and Susanna's sex party went down an absolute storm. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I have to say, my legs are a little sore, but my spirits are boosted. Yes. <laughs> a little bit dazed, a little bit confused, but what an extraordinary, yeah, extraordinary yeah. experience. Well it done to everyone who took special. part. <laughs> what a night. <laughs> so, what's been going on? Well, the big news was the Chinese state visit. Now, it's been the final day of the state visit to the UK of China's President Xi Jinping. Held by Mr Cameron as the start of a golden era for trade and investment relations, despite persistent criticism of China's record on human rights. Supporters of President Xi tried to make sure his eyes were shielded from protest. This is, this is England, not yeah, yeah, China. <laughs> China. <laughs> some people say that Chinese supporters were bussed in and told what to do, but come on! Listen to this guy. He's clearly thinking for himself. I'm just yeah. asking why you've chosen to stand in front of a demonstration against the human rights abuses in China. Uh... <laughs> I think the chairman is coming. Sorry. Mind you, blocking protesters is nothing. Look what they did last year. Chinese officials carried out an anal security check <laughs> on 10,000 pigeons fearing a potential terrorist attack. <laughs> It's a tough job! <laughs> no! 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 Surely, after 5,000, you'd be like, I don't think there's any in here! <laughs> Bizarrely, it wasn't just the Chinese government trying to suppress the protests. Look who else got involved in the cover-up. The Queen even made sure President Xi was on the right side of the carriage to miss the demonstrators outside. Ignore them! <laughs> Find a penny for every time somebody had a pop at me. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> so the Queen might have pandered to the Chinese government, but I bet you our Prime Minister didn't buckle. I bet you Cameron grilled the Chinese for hours over their atrocious human rights record. David Cameron's taken the Chinese President Xi Jinping to his local pub. <laughs> <laughs> Forget human rights, let's get wankered. <laughs> Good job they didn't stay for the pub quiz. Which country sentences more of its own people to death than any other? Chinese person like that. I know that. It's me. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, did the locals treat Dave with respect? What do you think? It wasn't long before the locals got in on the act. One cheeky regular reminding the Prime Minister this was the pub where he left his daughter behind. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they didn't stop there. Oi, Dave! <laughs> Dave! <laughs> Fancy a pork scratching? No! <laughs> Your dick smells like frazzles, mate! <laughs> Mind you, we're not the only ones taking the piss. Did you see what the Chinese media have been saying about us? Chinese media describes UK public as potato lovers who can't drink tea properly. <laughs> well, that is absolute nonsense. You. you can see why they said this. Sky News were obsessed with the president eating chips. Last night we saw uh, the President Xi try fish and chips for the first time. Other channels asked tough questions, not Kay Burley. She did an interview with a random chip shop. This may be the most pointless bit of news ever. So what sort of fish is the best fish to use with fish and chips? And indeed, what sort of potatoes are the best potatoes to use? Human rights is clearly a problem in China. When you said mostly Maris Piper, are there other potatoes that you use as well? China is getting very, very close to the heart of state security. OK, we have to talk about the sides, of course. Mushy peas, gravy. From a security point of view, are we wise to cosy up to China? It used to be old um, newspaper that you would wrap the chips up in. You can't do that anymore, can you? Do you think that makes any difference? Deliberate conspiracy by the Chinese of, to flood the British market market with cheap steel. What about that um, trendy new fish, Pollock? Do you use that as well? <laughs> no. <laughs> that 
report... That report went on for ten minutes! <laughs> the BBC did it in ten seconds. Do the Chinese really like fish and chips? Not really. Now, away from Chipgate, the new Bond film is out. The new James Bond blockbuster Spectre was given the royal seal of approval at its world premiere in London. Forget the premiere. Did you hear about this? <coughs> Spectre has got 17 product placements and Daniel Craig profits from each one. That is disgusting. You would never see me do this. But then, I'm too busy juicing. <laughs> With the new Fruit Buster 520, it's <laughs> sick taste like heaven. Mmm. Wonderful. <laughs> Product placement is wrong. You're selling your artistic soul for money, and that is outrageous. Almost as outrageous as the low, low prices of Luigi's Pasta Palace. <laughs> right, Luigi? <laughs> and it tastes like Mum I used to make. <laughs> that is the most amazing news. Did you see who Daniel Craig wants to be the new Bond? <laughs> Daniel Craig, if I don't do the next film, it should be Bojo. <laughs> My name's Johnson, Boris Johnson. <laughs> I have a martini, befuddled, but not discombobulated. <laughs> Boris as Bond. Now, that would be amazing. It was the only film to make the news this week. It is bigger than Bond and hotter than Potter, and today fans of Star Wars have been given their final teasing glimpse of the new film. The new Star Wars trailer went online and people went batshit. Some made weird noises. Oh! <laughs> Some went full Wookiee. <laughs> and one guy really enjoyed it. Is it awkward that I have a boner right now? <laughs> it's a bit. Not that everyone was happy with the trailer. Did you read about this? <coughs> Racist tweeters are urging everyone to boycott Star Wars 7 because it includes a black character. What? You can't have a black character in Star Wars? Lando Calrissian? <laughs> Mace Windu? <laughs> Darth Vader? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I don't mind a talking robot or a seven-foot guinea pig or a massive slug. I think a black man in space is a bit far-fetched. <laughs> I mean, look what this idiot wrote. Any of you guys want your daughters breathing with black stormtroopers? No! Didn't think so! <laughs> stormtroopers aren't real, you racist prick! <laughs> your daughter is never gonna shag a stormtrooper! <laughs> Same way, she's probably not gonna have a gangbang with this guy! <laughs> So moronic. Boycotting a film because of racism is unbelievable. Almost as unbelievable as the cost of a family ticket to World of Otters! <laughs> it's fun for all the family. So come on down. It's utterly brilliant! <laughs> Elsewhere this week, oh my god, this is crazy. Have you seen how we're dealing with lonely pensioners? Next tonight, a novel way to help lonely Londoners, chickens. Researchers say that caring for a feathered friend can help tackle social isolation among the elderly and improve their well-being. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Some crazy farmer? You're lonely! Have a chicken! <laughs> You've got depression, what you need is a badger! <laughs> Old MacDonald has a farm. E Come on, girls, stroke your badgers! <laughs> Uh, that sounds terrible. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Right? The point... The point I'm making... The point I'm making is ridiculous. Check out this lady's brilliant response. What did you think when they said you were going to suddenly have chickens in here? I thought, oh, well, whatever turns them on. <laughs> How amazing is she? Whatever turns them on, got to go. Come off that Nando's. <laughs> Not that it's my favourite pensioner reaction to an animal. Wow, my friends, wow. Check out what this amazing man in America did to a bear. 
Only on CBS 13 tonight. A story like one you've probably never heard. A Foothills man came face to face with a bear outside his home. He didn't run, he didn't call fish and game, instead he wound up and he punched the bear in the face. He came up like this and he turned, boom! I hit him hard. <laughs> he punched a bear in the face. We've got a picture of the beast that he dropped. <laughs> now, not only is he hard as nails, he is also every single shade of crazy. Carl Moore is not a guy who scares easily. The man or beast that I run from ain't been born, and his mama's already dead. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the beast that I run from hasn't been born, his mama's dead, and his cousin's got a veruca. <laughs> I love what he reckons the bear did to provoke the fight. And I raised both hands in the air and I cussed at him. Yeah, get out of here, you <laughs> And he looked at me like, go F yourself. <laughs> now, I don't want to say this man likes a drink, but he is claiming on national TV that a bear told him to fuck off. <laughs> You should have seen him. He was outside the window like that. <laughs> Looking straight me in the eyes. He is the scariest man in the world. I mean, how terrified does his dog look? Help me, man! <laughs> he hasn't put me down for five years. <laughs> I sent word to the bears to get me out, but he punched one of them in the face. <laughs> Last week, he dressed me up in his ex-wife's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, I shouldn't be telling you this, but the other day, he smeared his balls in peanut butter. <laughs> now, I hate balls. <laughs> Everyone is against animals. Have you seen what they've done in Japan? Japan has invented wine for cats. <laughs> Pissed cats. Well, that is going to change this advert. Like a sweet morning dew. Just one look at you. And it was plain to see. You were my destiny. Tasty little bastard. <laughs> My guest this week is a performer, writer and superhero who happens to have threats. So obviously there may be some fruity language. You may have heard her already. She's Banana. wonderful. Have, <laughs> have a look at this. Hi, I'm Jess Tom. In 2006, I was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome. Biscuit, a neurological condition that means I make movements and noises I can't control, called ticks. In 2010, I co-founded Tourette's Zero, Biscuit, an organisation that celebrates the humour and creativity of the condition. Our mission, Biscuit, is to change the world. Biscuit, one tick at a time. There are three things, Biscuit, you'll need to know straight away. Biscuit. Firstly, Biscuit, you're going to hear Biscuit, the word Biscuit, a lot. Secondly, Biscuit, much of what I'm about to say will be a surprise to everyone. Biscuit, including me. Biscuit. Finally, Biscuit, if I say something funny, Biscuit, you're absolutely allowed to laugh. Biscuit, in fact, it'll be a bit weird if you don't. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jess Tom! Thank you very much for being on the show. Oh, please! Pleasure to meet you, Jess. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Happy birthday. Fuck a sheep. Thank you and uh, no thank you. Um, <laughs> so, uh <laughs> Beams! Yes. Ask a question about Alan Hansen. I will. Um, <laughs> do you want me to ask you a question about Alan Hansen? Because I was going to ask you, what's it Biscuit. like living with Tourette's? Biscuit. So, there's lo yeah, there's loads of amazing things about living with Tourette's. Loads of... Um, it gives me access to a spontaneous creativity that I probably wouldn't be able to access. Things that would never normally sit next to each other get collided together and create uh, incredible new concepts. Biscuit. I love pee. 
please. <laughs> That's not really an incredible new concept. <laughs> no, but there is something... Masonry bits. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something so... A Jedi Knight in I... dungarees. Yes. <laughs> The idea of a Jedi in dungarees. Jedi! That's just a ride, and everyone will be home imagining Luke Vader. <laughs> Luke Vader? I'm doing it now. Um, but they'll be imagining this Luke in dungarees. Bean curd! <laughs> I've been on your, your website, which is amazing, because actually, we should talk about that. The. Um, Ta da! Yep. Um, you're, it's a, bean, so, bean curd dot com. It isn't, it isn't bean curd dot com. Um, <laughs> But do you want to... Taylor Swift in your mother's mind.com. <laughs> yeah. that. Um, uh, that, I mean, that, that should be a website. The idea <laughs> of my mum... I can't get Taylor Swift out of my mind. Um, do, you want, do you want to tell everyone about your website? Is, Biscuit. Can... Hedgehog. Biscuit, yes. So it's um, Tourette's Hero. Tourette's Hero. Biscuit, Tourette's Hero.com. Biscuit. And on it, I, I write every day, so I write a daily blog. Biscuit. And that's been a really amazing way to, Biscuit, think about the impact that Tourette's has on my daily life. Biscuit. And we also share the things that um, I've said as vocal ticks. Uh, we... Biscuit. Almost 6,000 real... Tourette's text, and we invite other people to come and use them for their own creativity. And I've, I've got Hedgehog, some, some of my favourites here. Ta da! The, 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 these are Rattlesnake! That's not on here. Um, <laughs> Tattletail sheep! Neither. Um, but this, Jeremy Hunt Hedgehog! I'll have a look. No. <laughs> um, but the. <laughs> pin, what's your pin number? Oh. <laughs> If I were to tell you my pin number, I'd tell you, you would tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke earlier and just said, if anything, don't talk about pin numbers. But you brought it up. You brought it up. You brought it up. <laughs> right. This, this, these are the ones. Alpha, alpha. These are the ones I like. God's moving to Watford on Sunday. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Listen to your inner duck. We don't do that. <laughs> Carry a bag, your career is over. That's excellent. <laughs> but Lampos is impersonating Hitler again. <laughs> there are two dolphins working in a post office a little north of Winchester. I like that. <laughs> and my personal favourite, Bye -bye. I fucked a Furby in 1994. <laughs> so it's an absolute Hi. sensation. But, hey. and what I love. What's Biscuit. so wonderful about it is that you, you're sh sharing yourself with everyone. Biscuit. You're providing such joy. But what is interesting, Hedrick. there's a lot of Russell ticks. Russell. Yeah. <laughs> Russell <laughs> broke the <a> shower. <laughs> Russell fell out of a wormhole. <laughs> Russell has my periods. <laughs> Russell. Dungarees. Russell gave a spirited performance in bed with my mum. <laughs> www.russellsworriedaboutisballs.com <laughs> I am. Cats! Check a sheep dog out. <laughs> that might fix Flirty. Flirty? <laughs> Sorry. Um, Flirty with a sheep dog. Uh, no. <laughs> Flirty with Alan Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. Um, <laughs> your Siri must be exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Siri, butter my toast. <laughs> See? That's what I'm getting at. Siri's like, I'm, oh god, I'm hey, Siri. so tired. <laughs> oh, Jess, please. Dance with a microwave. It's... I don't know how to make that happen. <laughs> Put a daisy chain in your microwave. Why the microwave tonight? It's a lot of microwaves. It's a lot stuff, of microwaves. Yeah. I really have had no traumatic experiences with microwaves in the, in the last few minutes. Do you know the, <laughs> you know the Welsh yeah. for microwave? Do you know what that word is? Ta da! Nope. <laughs> It's Popty Pink. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it is. It's yeah. very sensible. And the, the, the Welsh for iron, smoothie or. <laughs> and jellyfish, wibbly wobbly. And, and tortoise, get faster! Yes. <laughs> it isn't, but from now on it has to be. <laughs> Look at that! Look, it's one of them get fasters! <laughs> cats, cats, biscuit. What's I love been, cats! What's been the most joyful and then what's been the most embarrassing? Biscuit, hedgehog. Um, biscuit. 
Biscuit, the most joyful is that I, Biscuit, I find, I find really unusual things. Yeah. Um, biscuit, um, really funny or exciting. Biscuit, yeah. and there's a lamppost that I can see from my bedroom window that I have a very strange relationship with. Biscuit, <laughs> biscuit, <laughs> most, biscuit, you know, my bedroom routine goes like most people. I, yeah. I brush my teeth, I get into my pyjamas, I get into bed, I abuse the lamppost till I go to sleep. <laughs> biscuit, Until you go to sleep. <laughs> biscuit, I say, I love lampposts. Lampposts live off the state. Lampposts. <laughs> Get a job! <laughs> Lampost! Don't take want... that shit from the pigeons! <laughs> it's the idea that your lamp is like, I'm not doing anything! <laughs> it's not doing it. But over several years, like that ongoing, strange and surreal relationship with an inanimate object yeah, yeah. is funny and of course biscuit it is. and um, yeah, and I biscuit. So I find a lot of joy in those things and details. I know biscuit. My, my ticks are not things that I'm thinking about, but are a result of having slightly unusual neurology, and yeah. that is um, that does feel like a gift. Biscuit. Now your brain just naturally kind of Papa. puts images together and just creates sort of jokes Papaya. without you even trying. Yeah. <laughs> so in, in many ways, it's really annoying. Biscuit. <laughs> you're kind of brilliantly biscuit. funny, and you're not even trying. Biscuit. <laughs> Most comedians are like, oh, and you're like, oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a witty <laughs> thing about a lamppost. <laughs> yeah, but as my friends repeatedly tell me, I'm not actually that funny. I well, say, they're wrong. <laughs> they're I, say, no, they're so I wrong. say something deliberately funny about every six months. Fortunately for me, and for everybody else for who's around me, my ticks have a higher hit rate. Biscuit. <laughs> it must be very difficult for you to keep secret. Biscuit. Um, yeah, and we're coming up to Christmas, and that's like, there. Yeah, that's, that's a very difficult time for me, because my natural natural inclination is to be really organised and get really thoughtful gifts for the, for the people that I care about. Um, biscuit, and my tick's natural reaction is to tell them straight away what they've got. Oh, no. <laughs> that's so... Oh, that's <laughs> annoying, isn't it? Because you're kind of lovely, lovely, lovely. Bought you a helicopter and a standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a Christmas present. Wow. Because that must Biscuit. be awful, because you're saying, I've got you a helicopter and a standing ovation, you're like, wow, and you're like, socks. <laughs> Biscuit, yeah, thank, I mean, thankfully, people know that uh, Biscuit, what I say, might, not, might or yeah. might not be true, so... Uh, a golden Biscuit. lizard. Oh. <laughs> the sanitary Bottom dispenser. <laughs> Wait, what, what have you got coming up? For Biscuit. Well, Biscuit, I'm working on an amazing, exciting project, and yep. also a terrifying project, Biscuit, called Live from Television Centre. Right. Uh, Biscuit, and we're going to be doing our broadcast from Biscuit. Land on the 15th of November. <laughs> this is 15th of November on BBC Four oh, as great. part of a night of live theatre. And there's going to be a load of really diverse works. There's going to be dance and comedy and drama, Biscuit, and it's people that you wouldn't normally see on screen. Well, and it's all going to be live. I Biscuit. will be watching that. Hedgehog. <laughs> and I doubt yes. I'll be alone. Ladies and gentlemen, how wonderful was that? Biscuit. The fantastic. <laughs> Check out what this couple in America got arrested for. Now, tonight we are learning more about two people who had sex in the middle of a Norfolk parking lot. As the couple told News Channel 3's Gabriella DeLuca, they were fueled by alcohol and spontaneity. They had sex in a car park. Whatever turned them on. <laughs> they did an interview, and his response is exceptional. Is something like this going to happen again? No. I don't know. <laughs> Never say never. She's like, it's never gonna happen again. Baby, you know I get freaky when I'm in the car park. <laughs> when I'm parking the Honda, you gonna feel my anaconda. <laughs> One more. If I'm driving the Bentley, I'll tap that shit gently. So, <laughs> so, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. We had sex in the car park. What kind of car were they in, Ross? A Ferrari? A limousine? Someone nearby snapped these photos of the two, <laughs> and we showed the couple today. They weren't even in a car. <laughs> Just led on the floor like a couple of randy slugs. <laughs> I mean, it's everyone's fantasy, isn't it? Mm, take me down the NCP and bang me in the gravel. <laughs> Only local shoppers were horrified. One poor guy saw everything. <laughs> God damn it, I am having no luck today! By 
me tonight is a great story I wanted to share with you. This is the year when we'll celebrate our 50th wedding anniversary. When we first started uh, dating, I used to ride my bike from where I lived to where she was, and that was about five kilometres on a Saturday afternoon because it was the only chance we had to get together. We had a bike. Uh, I used to ride everywhere on my bike, and then Glad had a bike as well, and we put a, a baby chair on the front of her bike, and so we carried our babies around on the bike with uh, her as well. So, yeah, bike's been part of our lives, and I guess that has uh, something to do with us now. Around about 2004, five, I began to notice um, that there were things going wrong. She was finally diagnosed with uh, the horrible disease of Alzheimer's. So I had a bike made, a bike chair made. We take it to the beach and ride along beside the beach. And I am determined to care for her every need, every need. She has done so much for me over all of these years. Now she can't, but I can, and I can return her love. Uh, and it's a love that, uh, well, to me, means I can do everything for her. She's my princess, I'm her William, and I wouldn't <laughs> have it any other way. Would you have it any other way? Oh, no, yeah. no, not at all. We love each other. How sweet is that? Thanks very much for watching the news. Good night, my friends. Good night, farewell. Yes. Yeah,